time I got a break 40. Oh my gosh, look at all these bots. Half the teams are bots. Oh my gosh, your average in that thing is absurd at 79,000. <laughs> don't don't let me down over there. <laughs> yeah, bot kraken indeed. Let's get some bot krakens. And what that means, because the thing about bots is like they're easy to deal with, they're predictable, etc. But if you walk around a corner and there's three bots steaming right for you, they're not going to miss that much. They're going to hit you. And so, yeah, that's a whole concern. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let our Clemson, who is a bot, go over there and die. No, I'm going to go over here to escort these guys. Because otherwise they're all going to get themselves killed because this whole side of the map is bots. Oh my gosh. This is mostly bot management. You, you play these matches, it's kind of like playing a uh, like a co-op game and trying to win when there's only like two humans on each side. Because it's essentially a roll of the dice and like there's a little push that maybe you can get as the human player to try to make sure this is going to be okay. Well, Admiral Crutchley here is just, he's going to turn right into those airplanes. I mean, they're AP rockets, it should be fine, but... I don't know. Luckily, we got tier fours, so that's okay. Yeah, you got like seven. You got mega damage in that thing. I mean, not that it's it's the Julio, right? So I mean, you can walk out there, and obviously, you can get good damage. But your seventy nine thousand average is uh, that's worth talking about. We do have real carriers on both sides of this match, so nobody has a bot carrier disadvantage. I wonder if they even do that. I, I feel like I've been watching for that lately, but I haven't seen that uh, happen. And I, I'd be, I would prefer that they didn't do that. It seems like it's always matched up humans across the line, right? All the classes that humans have are human piloted in this game as well, or in the opposite team as well. Just gonna send some torpedoes there. I don't want to get too close, but I do want to set foot on this cap. I've got spotters right there, so I'm actually going to smoke up and use this opportunity to just shell this Svetlana while I'll be totally invisible. Um, if I realize now he's kind of sailing that direction, so i got to put my target, oh, now he's coming back the other way, on one side or the other of his nose, right? That's how, I always forget how this works, I have to like walk the shells in because I'm like total rude. There's my torpedoes, all of which will miss. Just trying to get consistent gunfire on these guys. Let my bots take the damage, because frankly, they're going to take it anyway. So let them do that. I'm going to get this. You know, bot strats. We're talking bot strats today. <laughs> um, where are those torps? Oh, they're right there. Okay, so we got that guy. Anti-bot strats. There's a Borask who appears to be stationary. Why is this Borask stationary? He's a bot. He should be steaming towards danger. That's what they do. I guess I'll just keep shooting him. I hope I don't torpedo my friends there. Which could happen. My smoke is wearing out, so I'm going to get rolling here. I'm going to try to get steaming away from danger. I don't think I'm leaving this Barask enough. He's hauling. I still got a couple of hits on him there. Oh, I undershot him. Okay, got the Barask. Starting to work on the Miyogi situation. Remy isn't like speed demon fast, but it does move well enough and against bots. The trouble it has is, as you can see, every time I turn the rudder, uh, I leave my guns in the, in, the, in the dust, right? So if I turn, I'll actually turn the boat faster than I can turn the gun. So if you don't have a Gremiashi, um, that's something to be aware of. And it's something to be aware of when you're fighting people in Gremiashis. You know, it's, it's one of those boats that's not available anymore. So newer players to the game don't have access um, to this machine but that's something to know is that its gun rotation is so bad they have to turn the boat uh, in order to turn their guns 
you know with them so you'll do this kind of a thing and then what i'll do is i'll hit my other my other rudder i'll oversteer and i'm not even targeted on that guy and then i'll come back with the rudder to try to help correct my gun uh, aiming to correct my aiming. I see those torques. Ooh, I got one. I thought those were totally gonna mess. Fantastic. It'd be nice to get a couple more. Now I do have other spotters in the region, so I'm gonna actually just hit my smoke and try to come to a stop here. This is a battleship. He does not have torpedoes. I, I get. Oh no, that's a player. I didn't realize that was a player. I thought that was a bot. <laughs> oh no, poor fella. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and give him a. A reason to be sad today. Sorry, man. All right, we got him. Let's start working Phoenix. I wonder if I can Citadel a Phoenix. Let's try AP. I don't have a beautiful angle, but if he turns a little bit, it'll get better. Maybe. Uh, overpen. Overpen's a good sign. At least they're not bouncing. There's one. Yeah, we got one. Let's do it. Can you Citadel a Phoenix? You guys, this is an incredible battle. I've got 75,000 damage so far. As I'm, as I'm teaching, you know, hello, welcome to Punking Bots 101. And I'm shooting like an absolute moron. What is this? You guys see all these shots that are going over? I'm talking too much is what's happening. Can we kill this guy? The answer is yes. Perfect. Yes, we can. All right. I think my bot Kraken is going to be hard to get. Scott, are you getting yours? Between the two of us, we've got five kills. That's a shared Kraken. Not quite the same. Uh, I'm going to have a hard time getting to where enemy ships are. So if I want to get a Kraken, i got to get two more kills. So now we got to plan the Kraken. Here's the thing. Niogi, he's going to die before I have any, any hope of even getting there. So I need to head down this way to try to kill this Nicholas, who is, I think, a human player. Yeah, all we have left is humans. And then a bot. Hey, Burger, how you doing? Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Guys, check out Burger with a Scope. He plays all kinds of different games. Uh, unlike me, who's see, you know, Warship's main over here. But uh, yeah, check out Burger's stream. Um, I'm doing well, man. How you doing tonight? So if I'm planning this Kraken, right? Because <laughs> this is what you got to do. You got to start planning that Kraken. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off. This guy's got a lot of health. And I'm going to be down here. This is a 1v1, which is a risky proposition. Try to make sure we don't beach here. I'm trying to regulate my spottedness because I don't really want him to see me. I'm going to put wide pattern. Whoops. Hey, Scatter. And now we're going to try to kill this guy. I think what I might... Ah, see, he's turning. And Nicholas has short range US torps and he is gunning the crap out of me because he's got friends and I don't. So I'm actually going to turn away and get ready to use my smoke. So I think the, the, again, I think I'm a little, I'm getting a little cocky here. The Kraken is going to be tough uh, for me today. We'll see if we can get it done. But I look, no promises at this point. Just be lucky we're going to hit, you know, 80, 90 K damage here. Can we? So now that I'm getting some range on him, he's not having as good a time hitting me. Can we outshoot this guy? The answer should be yes, because the Gremiashi is an overpowered nonsense machine. But if it's not, then we could be in trouble. We might lose this gunfight. I think right now he might be out of gun range. Yeah, and he's going quiet. So I'm going to hit my turbo, hit more Y button, and we're going to turn in on this guy. I'm kind of hoping he'll shoot at me. Uh, because if he does, then I can see him, and maybe I can finish the job. I think I started out shooting him there towards the end. But to be honest, dude, he took a third of my hit points there. That was not great. But I'm going to swing my guns around this side. That's the thing. you got to plan your gun rotation in this thing just like a battleship, right? So I'm getting my guns turning to the left side of the boat. I've even right-clicked so I can do the free look here, and my guns will keep turning towards where I think those ships are going to be. I am spotted. There's the Nicholas. Oh, geez, I tried to shoot, and I'm turning out faster than my guns can rotate. Okay, he's smoking. Fine by me. Let's put some torpedoes in that smoke. Now I'm going to turn in. I'm going to go nose in. I want to present a narrow profile so he has a hard time torping me. Now, he's moving out of his smoke. Those torp torps I launched are not going to do it, but that's all right. All I did was I denied him the opportunity to use that smoke. There come his torpedoes at me. 
my wild corners there helped out. Holding those shots to get salvos. I don't know if that's actually wise. I'm gonna turn in. Ooh, I'm gonna use my smoke now. Starting to outshoot me. This is this is so great. <laughs> this is a good battle that I'm having with this guy. I've got a spotter who's watching the Nicholas for me, so I can keep shooting him. But he can't shoot me. He's out of his torp range, so I cannot be torpedoed by the Nicholas. Um, I could be torpedoed by that aircraft carrier, though. I've got to watch out. Okay, i got to fire on the Nicholas. Can I get the kill on him? Big if here. Come on, fire. Oh, Karlsruhe takes it. All right, that's it. No cracking for me. That's okay. We're having a good time. Well, Burger, it's it's a little bit of... Fam I'm going to call it familiarity. I don't want to brag or, or say this is skill. I have bad games in this boat, too. Uh, this is a particularly good game, but the Grimiashi is also a very powerful boat. If you take a look at the numbers here, 14.3 kilometer gun range at tier 5, 8 kilometer torps. It's a great boat. I know. <laughs> that is that is another Karlsruhe showing me how it's done. I'm not pleased. The only way this works is if that New York kills everybody on our team and walks over here before the clock runs out. And I don't I don't think that whole it's not happening. Can you get a Kraken by killing friendlies? But no, we're having a we're having a good match for sure. This is better than normal, and the Gremiashi is, is helping me by being an amazing boat. Um, and and again, so many bots in this match. Like I was, I was able to scoop up a lot of damage pretty easily. Although that one battleship I thought was a bot turned out not to be. So a little seal clubbing is at play as well. Confederate, I got Confederate. Fantastic. And high caliber. <laughs>again this this carrier cannot get away from me the only thing he could do is get unspotted um, but I don't think that's an option for him I'm gonna hit the edge of the map here but I don't want to rotate my guns anymore so I'm just gonna keep hitting the edge of the map <laughs> it's my guns turn so slowly come on shells no no <laughs> oh yeah we're doing good things here that was a great match guys I'm glad we were able to get that done Okay, 104,000. That means I've unlocked my pizza party. Captain says we can have pizza if we break 100K. Fantastic. 8,800 XP with 1,000 free XP there. I got two awards, Confederate, which means I damaged at least six ships. And we uh, also did 20% of uh, each of damage to each of those ships. So I did at least 20% damage to six ships. That's kind of hard to do. What that means is you're spreading your damage out. That's one of the reasons I didn't get my Kraken is because I actually hit a bunch of different targets. So I distributed that damage across large numbers of the team. I've got high caliber, which means I damaged at least four ships and did 30% of the total hit points of the entire enemy team so at a, in a lower tier battle when you hit those six figure damage numbers things like high caliber come along it basically just means i was really dishing it up on the end uh, or excuse me on the enemy team got those four citadels in the gremiashi against a tier four phoenix that light u.s cruiser so that's a thing you can do with some of those russian destroyers and keep that in mind the the max damage on those citadels is only usually 2500 i think on the gremiashi it's 3000 we can check after this um but you know uh rather than rather than hitting 600 1200 damage you'll get these bigger chunks if you have the perfect shot it's got to be a perfect broadside usually any angle at all will take away your opportunity to get those citadels uh, but you can certainly do it. Only one airplane, fine by me. That just means I didn't get harassed. Got a couple of defenses, a cap, three kills. What a great battle, guys. What a fantastic battle. Top guy, 1,900 base at Tier 5. You know, 2,000 base is a pretty good game at any tier, but at Tier 5, that's pretty special. So, uh, yeah, as Scott says, that's the stream. Let's just call it right here. We're turning it off. <laughs> no, we'll keep it up. 50k to that Koenig. He's the guy who rolled in with those bots so much so that I thought he was one. I think he was, you know, just trying to hide among the zombie herd there. Um, but I was able to catch him with a few torpedoes. 
uh, which worked out well. These two guys are bots. Total cheese ball freebie kills. Not not a hard thing to do. And then, you know, a little bit of damage to each of these guys down here. Again, Ravel, another bot. Uh, but, you know, I'll take it. 104k in the Gremiashi? Absolutely. My average is 40,000. So that was a huge game for me. How much fun was that? That means we're not likely to have great games like that. Let's see about the next one. Let's get on into tier six.